showing you how to make this uh, pinwheel bun without the sock bun. It's really simple, so let's get started. So you want to spray your doll's hair and brush it out. Um, you should probably do this on a long-haired doll. And that's really all you need to know. You also need a couple bobby pins, your doll hair brush, a ponytail, and the spray bottle. So, I'm just going to brush out Isabel's hair and just split it into two parts like I've done here. You can do this with your whole doll's head, but I don't suggest it because there's too many flyaways and um, short parts that will stick out. So, I'm just doing this half of the head. So, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to put a ponytail here and just there we go it doesn't have to be perfect they're not going to see the ponytail and now just brush it out make sure you got all that hair through so now what you want to do is split the hair in two and then you want to just kind of set this off to the side. So I'll take one of my bobby pins and just pin this. And so now this is the part you really want to pay attention to. On this piece that you have separated from the other one, you separate it into two again and choose a way to twist the hair. I'm twisting it to the right and just twist it all the way down. And then you take the other piece and twist it too. Try to make it as tight as possible. And since you've twisted to the right, you want to take the two pieces and twist them together going to the left so that you can see that it's actually twisted opposite ways I guess and just go all the way down the hair and tie it off with a ponytail I want to do the same thing to this side so split it into two pieces and twist it to the right Make sure that if you twisted these pieces to the right, you need to twist these ones to the right also. Same things go for if you twisted it to the left. And remember, when you twist both your pieces to the right, to twist them together, you go left. So after I'm done with this, you'll just end up with these two twists, I guess you'd call it, coming out of a ponytail. And the reason I don't do this with a, um, with her whole head of hair is because these little pieces stick out way too much if you use the whole doll's head. So now I'm going to take this ponytail out and show you what you should do next. So I'm trying to keep these twists in while taking the ponytail out and now you have these so you twist them together like that and see how they just kind of mold together into one big twist you don't want to go the opposite way where you can actually see that it's two twists you just want to make them look like one big twist I guess and if some of your pieces are untwisting, you can twist them back up while you are making this giant blob of twists. This is kind of hard without another ponytail, 
So if you're having a hard time, just put in another ponytail, twist them together, take a third ponytail and wrap it around. Now I have this giant twist coming out of Isabel's hair, head. And you've gotten the hard part done with. So you want to go ahead and go to the next step. Is just wrap it around. If you, um, if you twist it the same way I do, then you want to end up wrapping it going to the right. If you did your twist to the left, then do it the opposite. So see, you kind of got this pinwheel bun, no sock needed whatsoever. And it was really simple. Once you get good at this, it'll take you a couple seconds. You just throw it together and you have a good photo shoot hairstyle. So you just put in your bobby pins, however you like. And you're finished with your pinwheel bun. And you don't need a sock or anything. It's really simple. All you re really need to do is make sure you're twisting the hair right and you're golden. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to AG Sunny Sisters and watch next week. Bye. Again, again, again.